What does it take to get a healthy singing voice? If you are a singer, then your voice is your biggest asset, right? It is much more precious than any of the gold or silver or property that you may own. So if you want to keep singing for the rest of your life, then you need to take very good care of your voice and keep it very healthy. So today I am going to give you my 5 secrets for a healthy singing voice so that you can do wonders when you sing. I am Pratibha Sarathi and you are watching Vox Guru's YouTube series. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to this channel right away so that you don't miss out on any of our updates. And also please join me for some regular training in music by downloading the Vox Guru app. You can learn any style of music that you like either through recorded courses and also through one-to-one -one live classes. Let's learn music together. The first secret is to control your speaking voice. Did you know that most of the strain in our voice is not caused by singing, but by the speaking that we do all day? Most of us don't even realize how much we talk in a day, how much of strain we apply to the voice. Sometimes we talk loudly, we start shouting, we start yelling, we get angry. All of this affects our singing voice. So the next time you talk, try to focus here. See how much of pressure you are applying on your throat and try to see if you can be more gentle with it. Of course, in some places you will have to speak loudly and boldly, but wherever it is possible, try to mellow it down and be gentle on your vocal cords. Secret number two, warm up your voice every day. You know, warm up is not something that we do just before singing. Warm up is actually a daily habit. Because every day when we wake up in the morning, our vocal cords are very, very relaxed because they have had a nice sleep at night, right? Now, in this relaxed state, if we suddenly start singing a song, then the vocal cords will get really shocked, right? Because a song does not follow a systematic progression. It goes all the way up and down. So we should never shock our voice. We should do warm-up exercises first so that we gradually open up our voice and make it prepared for the activity of singing. So make sure that you warm up your voice each and every day including the days that you are not going to sing as well. Secret number three, know your vocal range. One of the reasons why strain happens in the voice is because we push beyond our range. Usually when we listen to a new song, whatever scale or shruti that song is on, we try to sing on the same scale, right? But that may not be good for everyone because your range may be different from that of the original singer. So if you try to keep singing on that range, then that can cause a lot of strain and eventually it can damage your vocal cords. So please be very well aware of what is your voice type, what is your range and whichever song you learn, first bring it to your range and then sing it. That's a very good practice to maintain a healthy voice. Secret number four, watch what you eat and drink. Diet plays a very big role in the health of our voice. Certain foods are generally not recommended for singers. For example, dairy products, very oily food, very spicy food, alcohol, caffeine and so on. So I'm not going to tell you to totally stop all of this, but whichever you can stop, please do try. And if not, at least reduce the quantity, have it in moderation and definitely don't have it just before a performance. And secret number five, don't clear your throat. Many of us have the habit of doing <coughs> right? This is a very bad habit because we think it is helping us in clearing our throat but actually it is causing a lot of damage to the vocal cords. So if you have that habit, you need to get rid of it and the next time you feel like clearing your throat, just have a sip of water. Okay? So you will feel better in the next few seconds and keep doing that every time and eventually you will lose that temptation to clear your throat. Hope you enjoyed this video and will start practicing all these points right from today. If you want to start training your voice with some amazing exercises and techniques, then please join my voice culture course. 
It is available on the Vox Guru app. I have shared the links to download in the description. So here you will find two voice culture courses. One is called Universal Voice Culture and the other is called Carnatic Voice Culture. So both these courses are very, very different and very unique. And uh, both of them combined will give you a beautiful set of exercises to maintain a very healthy singing voice and get into a daily practice routine so that your voice becomes more flexible and more strong. So I'll be waiting to see you there. Take care and keep practicing.